rock band. Now let's take a look at setup mode. Setup mode allows you to take up to three programs on three different MIDI channels and split or layer them in zones across the keyboard. If you go to setup mode, you will notice that you can have up to three different programs. Each zone will be on a different MIDI channel. Lines under the program name show where each zone is laid out on the keyboard. Before we proceed any further, we need to talk about one parameter, which will be important if you have the rack module. It's called the local keyboard channel, and it is found on the MIDI receive page. To get to it, press the MIDI mode button, then the soft button labeled receive. You will need to use this parameter if you want to use setup mode. It's important to understand that a setup is a control-oriented function. On the keyboard version of the 2500, the keyboard itself will transmit on up to three channels when in setup mode. But with the rack, if your keyboard only sends information on one MIDI channel, you need a way to turn that information on one MIDI channel into three channels. This is what the local keyboard channel parameter does. It takes the signal coming in one channel and turns it into different information depending on where you are in the 2500. To demonstrate, set local keyboard channel to 1 and then send from your keyboard on channel 1. Now go back to setup mode and notice that although all the zones within your setups are on different MIDI channels, they all respond to information coming in on one channel. It is important to understand that local keyboard channel will change the way the 2500 performs in other modes as well. It changes the incoming information depending on what you have displayed in the 2500. For instance, if you are in program mode with channel 5 in the display, then the information coming in on channel 1 will be turned into channel 5 and you will hear the program assigned to channel 5. But if you turn local keyboard channel off by setting it to none, then if you send on channel 1, you will hear the program that is assigned to channel 1 even if you are looking at channel 5. Local keyboard does more than just change the MIDI channel. You will notice that the octave plus and minus soft buttons now will transpose the information. And you can even use it to change one type of MIDI controller to another. For more information on this, please consult your manual. Now let's go back to setup mode. Take some time to play the preset setups. Once again, make sure to try using the mod wheel and other controllers to see how they affect the sound. Let's make our own setup. It's easy to do. As we mentioned before, a setup can have up to three zones. We're going to make a setup with two programs layered on the right side of the keyboard and another program on the left side. Go to Setup 100, the basic setup. Now press Edit. I'm going to be using some programs that I've loaded in. You can use any program you'd like. I'm using ePiano for the first zone. Notice it's assigned to channel 1. The most important thing to remember about setups is that each zone must be on a separate channel because you can only have one program on a channel at a time. The exception to this would be if you wanted the same program in more than one zone. For example, you could take a program and assign it to two zones, but then transpose one zone an octave up, allowing you to play two octaves of the same sound. But more often than not, you'll be using different programs for each zone. Now we're going to limit this zone to the top half of the keyboard. You can set the low note and high note individually by changing the parameters on the page. But the easy way is to press the soft button that says set range, then just strike the two notes on your keyboard. Now go to the second zone by pressing the channel bank up button. Notice the display says zone 2 in the upper right hand corner and that the channel is now set to 2. For this zone, I'm selecting meditation pad. Set it to the same key range as Zone 1. Let's transpose this program down an octave. Move the cursor down to the transpose parameter and set it to minus 12 semitones. 
Let's make this program a little softer than the first one. The parameter marked V in the bottom right-hand corner lets you set an initial volume for a zone. It does this by sending MIDI volume control on that channel. Let's set it to 95 for this zone. Finally, go to zone 3. Move the cursor back to program. For this zone, I'm selecting warm base. Now assign this to the lower half of the keyboard. Just like in the program editor, you can use the three mute buttons to temporarily mute a zone while you are in the editor. The last step is to pick an effect for our setup. We'll choose medium hall. If you want, you can adjust the wet-dry mix. Remember that the effect in the wet-dry mix will be the same for all the zones. If you want, you can name and save your setup. The procedure is the same as with a program. Like programs, there are a thousand locations for setups.